right now are Gloria and Miguel. They come to see us every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, 4 p.m. They want to come every day, but our tutor is about to give birth, and she doesn't have every day to give, and we'll have to take a break for a little while while she has the baby, but then we'll be back up going strong hopefully by November. But to see the work that they do after it's sweltering in the 98 degree heat all day, and then to come to the library and get out that notebook and those pencils, and they pepper her with questions, and they are so, so eager to learn. And it, I feel guilty at 4 o'clock as I'm sort of winding down the day and thinking, oh, is it almost time to go home? And here they come, and I'm ready to start the day all over again. If they can work that hard, it's so invigorating to see them come to the library to learn. And it's very exciting. Okay, Hattie, what's your greatest success right now? Our greatest, now, our greatest success with the American Dream Start to Your Library Initiative was our U.S. naturalization ceremony that we held in May, and we had 30 United States citizens sworn in at the public library. And in those, we had a couple personal stories, Francisco and Ingrid Maldonado. They spent some time with me after the ceremony and just talked about how it was life-changing for them. And they said this is the greatest nation on earth, and, and I believe them. It's, it's a, t truly a heartwarming and an inspirational event. To hold on. Now the next question, what's your biggest challenge? And yes, I want you to be very honest <laughs> about this, painfully honest. Our biggest challenge is really getting the message across to the immigrant community mm -hmm. and letting them know what libraries do and what we're there to help them with and to let them know that it's safe and they're welcome and that we're there for them and that it's okay. That it's not a big scary red brick building has sometimes sends the message that it's very institutional and very government and it's it's not. And really conveying that message to them and letting them know at whatever level they are, whatever it is they need we can help them and we can adjust to help them if we need to get you know, a different set of learning materials or if we need to find a different time to work with the tutor we can do that and there's communication barriers obviously but just getting the word to them that it's it's safe and exactly what can i just challenge? say yes. you know <laughs> i think no, yeah. you guys are right on target that is a huge challenge for public libraries and the specific need that we're serving um, Another challenge we're facing is just uh, time management and trying to, to get everything done to make sure it is a successful program. I have some wonderful librarians who are building wonderful collection lists right now, and we're real excited about placing our orders for our new materials for these patrons. And we expect those to be in the next month, and that's, that's going to be like our Christmas, you know, when we get those new materials on the shelves for our patrons. And then really to that, begin that marketing initiative as well. But you could spend a month or more easily mm -hmm. just agonizing over mm -hmm. this it's set of materials or this set of materials. Mm -hmm. Or what about just mm -hmm. novels? Or what about children's? It's really tough to decide what's going to be the best thing to order. Especially when you're just now meeting this service area. You don't know their preferences right. yet. It, that, that's what, What's your greatest hope, Darby? What do you want to see come out of this initiative and this effort? Our greatest hope is that we have more students join us for the tutoring and that we have more families come in to take advantage of our, the great children's programs that we have and because the kids are already functioning in English and we want them to come and know that they're welcome in their native language too and as a long-range goal that would be a tremendous hope to realize is that everybody maintains both languages all the way through. And I know there's a lot of pressure on people to switch to English only but that's not really the key to long-term success. It's a very important first step but keep both of those languages going and that may be a real term goal. In the shorter term is to get more students in and more families in using the library. It makes the library come alive in a whole new way when you have that much more diversity. Greatest hope for My greatest hope is to fulfill our library's mission. I think our mission statement speaks to the American Dream Start to Your Library dream, and that is to, to promote literacy and offer those lifelong learning opportunities. And I echo what Ms. Darby says about keeping 
both languages alive in the household. I think that's very important. We value culture, we value diversity and community, and, and that's what this grant helps us do.